Christ Mandate Church, Arena of Power and Solution. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap on for Jesus. For another moment. That happens once in a year. Where we experience the new pet anointing. As partners. As those who have covenant to build the kingdom of God. Officially welcome you to this service. From wherever you are joining us from. Your life will not remain the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. Karibu. To the prophetic feet washing and fruitfulness service. Begin to thank God for giving you the privilege just to be part of this service. It's a privilege. Just thank him for that. For giving you the privilege. To be part of this service. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. thank you. We can take this privilege for granted. Because we know for sure that our life will not remain the same. We know, we know it because you are here. That's, that is why we are thanking you before Kabla. the operation. Kabla kazi yenye kufanyika. Thank you, Father. Asante, Baba. Thank you. Asante. Thank you for those who are still on the way. Asante kwa jile wale ambao bado wako njiani. Thank you for those who you are bringing. Asante kwa jile wale unawaleta. Thank you for those who are watching. Asante kwa jile wale unautazama. Via the TV and via online platform. Kupitia TV na mitandawe kijamii. We bless your holy name. Tunalibariki jina lako takatifu. Take all the glory. Pokea utukufu wote. Take all the honor. Pokea shima yote. For giving us the opportunity to redeem after going through many battles of whether to redeem or not to redeem but finally we are here thank you Asante. thank you Asante. in Jesus name amen Amina. the Bible says when Jesus was born three wise men Amajusi wa tatu waliona nyota yake. Means there is a special anointing. Yamanisha kuna upako wa kipekee. Special grace. Neema malum. Called the new birth anointing grace. Inaitwa upako mpya wa kuzaliwa. Say Lord. Sema e bwana. Let the new birth anointing. Acha upako mpya wa kuzaliwa change my life ubadilishe maisha yangu today i came leo nimekuja as your partner kama mbia wako as your covenant partner kama mbia wako wa agano i am asking ninakuomba from this perspective kutoka kwenye mtazamo huu from that end kutoka kwenye upande huo change my life badilisha maisha yangu i don't want to go back the same way i came sitaki kurudi kama nilivyokuja Omba ilo ombi. Lord, Bwana, I am asking for you to change my life by your mercy kwa rehema zako through the new birth anointing pitia upako mpya kuzaliwa that is available on this altar uliopo kwenye madhabahu hii I don't want to leave this altar sitakuondoka kwenye madhabahu hii the same way I came kama nilivyokuja suma la Badilisha maisha yangu bwana kwa huu pako mpya kuzaliwa kwa mtumishi wako e bwana badilisha maisha yangu nisibaki kama nilivyo nikiwa kama mbia wako agano nisiondoke kama nilivyokuja bwana e bwana nionyeshe rehema uyabadilishe maisha yangu jioni ya leo e bwana usiniache kama nilivyo ninakuomba e bwana 
Bed represents fruitfulness. God is a fruitful God. Mungu ni Mungu wa uzao. He hate barrenness. Anachukia utasa. Anything that is connected to God must be fruitful. Chochote ambacho kina muunganiko na Mungu lazima kiwe na uzao. When Jesus went to the fig tree to to eat a fruit. Yesu alipoenda kwenye mtini kupata tunda. When he looked for a fruit. Akatafuta tunda. He could not find one. Hakuliona. He cursed. Akaulaani, akalaani ule utasa. He cursed barrenness. Akalaani utasa. I remember a story of a man who had this coconut. Ambaye alikuwa na inazi. He had many of the coconut tree. Alikuwa na minazi mingi. Others will bear fruit. That one will not bear fruit. Mingine ilikuwa inazaa matunda lakini ule hauzai. From year to year. Mwaka paka mwaka. One day, siku moja, he came and talked to that tree. Akaja akaongea na ule mti. He told the tree. Akawaambia ule mti. Loudly. Akaongea kwa sauti. If I come here next year, pa mwakani, and I don't see fruit here. Nisipoona matunda ndani yako. Nitakukata. Lo and behold. Natazama. He came next year. Akaja mwaka ujao kukaa kuna matunda. I speak to you every area of your life. Nazungumza na kila eneo la maisha yako. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Kuwa na uzao kwa jina la Yesu. I say be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Nasema kuwa na uzao kwa jina la Yesu. Yes. Ndio. Your life must be fruitful. Maisha yako lazima iwe na uzao. Next year. Mwaka ujao alivyokuja. Alivyokuja. And so that tree. Akaona ule mti. He spoke fruitfulness into that tree. Alitamka uzao kwenye ule mti. I speak fruitfulness into your life. Natamka uzao maishani mwako. I can live I'm a fruit. Mimi ni tunda. I'm a fruit of God. Mimi ni tunda la Mungu. How will you be part of me and not be fruitful? Unawezaje kuwa sehemu yangu na usiwe na uzao? This is not a normal service. Hii sio ibada ya kawaida. In fact, this is the first time I'm conducting fruitfulness service for partners. Ndio mara ya kwanza naendesha ibada ya uzao kwa wabia. For more than 4 years. Kwa zaidi ya miaka 4. This service has been existing. Hii ibada imekuepo. Very soon we will do we will do partners anniversary. Hivi karibuni tutafanya ibada ya wabia. But I don't want to do it here. That's why I've never done anniversary even Sijai for the church. Sijaifanya ile ibada ya kuadhimisha miaka kadhaa ya ibada ya wabia lakini so nataka tufanye. Some people will be wondering no. Baadhi yao na shangaa. I'm a man that walk on instruction. Mimi ni mtu ambaye nafanya kazi kwa maelekezo. Everything has time. Kila kitu kina muda wake. Are you with me? Uko na mimi. Sometimes the media will be telling papa why don't we do this your documentary? I say don't worry. Kati mwingine idara ya matangazo wasema kwa nini papa tusifanye makala kwa ajili yako na nini naambia msijali. I'm, I'm I move by the wind of the spirit. Na inaenda kwa upepo wa rohoni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn to follow the time of God. Jifunze kufuata nyakati za Mungu. Not the way people feel. Sio namna watu wanavyohisi ama kujisikia utakosea. Are you with me? mimi. You miss it. Utakosea. Say Lord. Sema Bwana. Make me fruitful in this service. Nifanye niwe na uzao kwenye ibada hii. By the prophetic anointing of fruitfulness. Kwa upako wa kinabii wa uzao. Upon your prophet. Aboko juu ya nabii wako. Malachi Joseph. Malachi Joseph. Make me fruitful. Nifanye niwe na uzao by force by fire. Kwa lazima kwa moto. Pray that prayer oh by force by fire. Kwa lazima kwa moto. You can't afford to come here next year. Hawezi kuja hapa mwakani without fruitfulness. Bila uzao. No. Hapana. You must 
by this time next year wakati huu mwakani i'm speaking fruitless natamka uzao to my finances kwenye uchumi wangu to my business kwenye biashara yangu to my family kwenye familia yangu i must be fruitful lazima niwe na uzao this service is once in a year ibada ni mara moja kwa mwaka i must be fruitful lazima niwe na uzao can live here the same way siwezi kuondoka hapa kama nilivyo kila eneo lazima liwe na uzao lazima niwe na uzao ninatamka uzao kwa jina la Yesu kwa upako wa kuzaliwa leo juu ya mtumishi wako malaika Joseph ninatamka uzao kwa jina la Yesu kwenye kila eneo la maisha yangu uzao kwenye uchumi wangu uzao kwenye biashara yangu uzao kwenye taaluma Uzao kwenye familia yangu Uzao wa kibiolojia kwenye kila eneo la maisha yangu Natamka uzao kwa jina la Yesu Uzao kwenye ndoa yangu Uzao wa kiroho kwa jina la Yesu Uzao wa kiuchumi kwa jina la Yesu Natamka uzao kwenye kila idara kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba There is power in our tongue. Kuna nguvu kwenye ndimi zetu. You must use your word, the word of God to design your world. Lazima utumie neno la Mungu kuiunda dunia yako. You can afford to to come here by this time next year when we will be celebrating my birthday and you are not fruitful. No. Wewe kuja hiki kipindi hiki mwakani tukiwa tunasherekea siku yako kuzaliwa na una uzao hapana. You must hey, abala, it start today. Inaanza leo. I say it start today. Nasema inaanza leo. It start today. Inaanza leo. Lift up your right hand. Inuaje mkono wa kulia. Say Lord. Sema Bwana. Wash every everything that is not of you in my body Oshia mbali kila kitu ambacho sio cha kwako mwilini mwangu in my foundation kwenye misingi yangu my family kwenye familia yangu everything that does not represent you lord chochote ambacho hakikuwakilishi wewe bwana as my feet will be washed miguu yangu itakapooshwa wash it away kioshe mbali by your mercy kwa rehema zako wash away poverty osha mbali umaskini magonjwa maradhi aibu backwardness kurudishwa nyuma wash it away kioshe mbali kwa jina la yesu omba Oshe mbali ye Bwana. Kila kitu ambacho sio cha kwako. Ndani ya mwili wangu. Acha kikaoshewe mbali. Oshe mbali umaskini. Oshelea mbali magonjwa. Oshelea mbali utasa. Chochote ambacho sio cha kwako. Kisichokuwakilisha wewe. Kwenye maisha yangu ye Bwana. Miguu yangu itakapooshwa. Kikaoshelewe mbali. Acha kikaoshe mbali Osha mbali mateso Osha mbali maangaiko Osha mbali kucheleweshwa Osha mbali kushindwa Chochote bwana Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba Na ndivyo itakavyokuwa Because your feet have stepped here. Kwa sababu miguu yako imekanyaga hapa. You will not live here the same way you came. Hautaondoka hapa kama ulivyokuja. Now let's pray for those who are still on the way. Satuwaombe wale ambao bado wako njiani. There are three type of people who want to pray for. Kuna aina tatu za watu nataka tuwaombe. There are those who are still in the house they are still thinking whether to come because they are fighting with their altars. Kuna wale ambao bado wako nyumbani wanafikiria waje wasije sababu wanapambana na madhabahu zao. Those ones they come last. They come wale wanaochelewa wana kufika. <laughs> There are those who have redeemed. Kuna wale ambao wameshakomboa. They have the receipt but their altar don't want them to come here. Wana receipt lakini madhabahu zao sitaki waje hapa. And there are those who are already on the way. Na kuna wale ambao tayari wako njiani. But they will be put in jam. Lakini shetani anaweka foleni mbele yao. Devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will be put in jam. Anaweka foleni. Three type of people. Aina tatu za watu. 
those who are still thinking whether to redeem wale ambao bado wanafikiria wakomboe wasikomboe right now devil is bombarding so them with, with a lot of problems anawaambia matatizo mengi ambao ni ya muhimu na yanaonekana anawakumbusha unatakiwa ufanye hivi tangu ulipoanza kukomboa he will make them forget what god has done anawafanya wasahau kila kitu ambacho mungu aliwahi kuwafanyia he will switch off remembrance of what God have done in the past. Atazima kumbukumbu za mambo yote ambayo Mungu amefanya zamani. Eh uh, we allow them to remember. Anaruhusu wakumbuke tu mambo ambayo hayaendi. So they are still battling. Kwa bado wanapambana ndani ya ufahamu. Are you with me? Uko na mimi. And in the other way round na upande mwingine so wengine bado wanategemea kupata pesa tutaombea waipate hiyo pesa watakuwa kwenye ibada tutaombea to conquer the idols waweze kuishinda mizimu wanayo pesa lakini kukomboa ni kazi ni vita kwa sababu ya yale maslahi binafsi yes ndio those who are still on the way wale ambao bado wako njiani and those who may be blocked by na wale ambao labda wamezuiliwa jam na foleni say lord sema bwana we pray for them tunaombea intervene ingilia kati bring all of them here walete wote hapa for this service kwa ajili ya ibada hii for this historic and prophetic service kwa ajili ya ibada ya kihistoria na ya kinabii including those who are watching us online pamoja na wale wanaotazama mtandaoni that are yet to redeem too ambao bado hawajakomboa pia we pray for them tunawaombea lord intervene bwana ingilia kati help them to redeem wasaidie wakomboe right sasa hivi omba omba Jesus we send you to intervene. Yesu tunakutuma wewe ingilie kati. We send your angels. Tunatuma malaika zako. Intervene in their situation. Ingilie kati kwenye hali zao. Touch them. Waguse. We bind the spirits. Tunafunga hiyo roho that is manipulating their hearts. Inarubuni mioyo yao. Their mind. Fam zao. We bind it. Tunaifunga. We change their their oppression. Tunafunga mnyororo kazi zao. We clear the atmosphere. Tunasafisha anga. We give them spirits nuru ya rohoni we light in their heart and mind tunaangaza mioyo na fahamu zao and we bring them here na tunawaleta hapa we open doors tunafungua milango and get in the spirits na malango ya rohoni and we wake up them na tunawakaribisha so that they will not miss this historic ili wasikose and prophetic encounter baada ya kihistoria na kinabii jesus name we pray kwa jina la yesu tumeo We welcome them in the name of Jesus. Tunawakaribisha kwa jina la Yesu. We welcome them in the name of Jesus. Tunawakaribisha kwa jina la Yesu. They will not miss this blessing. Hawatakosa baraka hii. They will not miss this annual blessing. Hawatakosa baraka hii ya kila mwaka. Say Jesus, thank you. Sema Yesu asante. Congratulations. Ongera. Congratulations. Ongera. Now sasa you are registered for your testimony register Kama hujaandikisha bado shuhuda yako fanye hivi Are you hearing me Unanisikia register. So for all our partners from different countries Kwa kwa bia wetu wote kutoka nchi mbalimbali The Zoom link has been shared Hiyo link ya Zoom imetolewa Get an apple Pata apple So far you couldn't make it here live Kwa kwa umeshindwa kufika hapa we mwenyewe Get an apple Pata apple Uh, join through the zoom na ujiunge kupitia zoom i will minister to you itakuhudumia directly through the zoom moja kwa moja kupitia zoom so prepare your apple kwaanda ipo lako when i come to you i will prophesy and pray for you and bless your apple nikija kwako nitatabiri kukuombea na kubariki ipo lako secondly prepare a water cha pili andaa maji yes ndio the water i will bless the water you will use it to wash your feet itabariki ya maji utatumia kuosha miguu yako you will experience the same here utapata kama wanavyopata hapa hallelujah hallelujah you hear what i said msikia nilichosema register your testimony kaandikishe shuhuda yako you must register i have put most nimeweka lazima ni lazima uandikishe are you hearing me unanisikia this is this service is once in a year hii ibada ni mara moja kwa mwaka by next year before my birthday mwakani kabla siku yangu ya kuzaliwa you are coming with overflowing testimony unakuja na shuhuda zilizofurika you must be fruitful lazima uwe na uzao so while you are waiting for your turn ukiwa ukiwa unasubiri zamu yako be in prayer wewe unaomba usichukulia kama kawaida 
Don't take it as an ordinary thing. The angels are already here. Malaika wako hapa tayari. We pray Lord. Oh naomba Bwana. Don't allow me to step into that altar. Siniruhusu nikanyage kwenye ile madhabahu. Go back to say. Alafu nirudi kama nilivyo. You you see. Ona. You came here. Umekuja hapa. For something. Kwa ajili ya kitu. Don't allow anybody to distract you. Siruhusu yoyote akusumbue. Be spirit. Kuwa rohoni. For to be carnally minded is death. Kwa maana ukiwa unaongozwa na mwili ni mauti. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Lakini kuongozwa na roho ni uzima na amani. So be focused. Kwa kuwa na mlengo. Now start coming. Anzeni kuja sasa. Start coming. Anzeni kuja. Start coming. Anzeni kuja. And choir intensive worship. Choir abuduni kwa kina. Intensive one. Abuduni kwa kina sana. For the glory of God. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Mungu. And the deliverance of his people. Na ufungulivu wa watu wake. Kama we When your feet are washed If you have to receipt Kama una receipt mbili they will give you two apples Watakupa maepo mawili If you got half three receipt Kama una receipt tatu they will give you three apples Watakupa maepo matatu They will give you apples Watakupa maepo kulingana na receipt yako Na elewa Have you understood God bless you Mungu abariki Si cha ona kama we we Si cha ona mfa kama we we Si cha
If you have not registered your testimony, use this opportunity to go and register. Especially those their feet are washed already. It's very important. It's a must. It opens door for more blessings today. God bless you.
oil in my life Let my life never be tea Keep me burning, keep me burning Until they call me no the key Give me oil in my life Let my life never be tea Keep me burning, keep me burning Until they call me no the key See the coming of the key. Give me oil in my life. Let my life never be seen. Keep me burning, keep me burning. And see the coming.
So to me like a dream When the Lord turns things around It's a dream
Teach me, Lord, 
to know your will, to know your truth. Yeah. Teach me, Lord, to know your ways and to know that you are the truth.
Do more better than that for Jesus. The Lord says, I should tell you. That every curse upon your feet. That have been causing limitation. Are broken. They are broken in the name of Jesus. If there are those who are on the Zoom, please show them. I'm also ministering to them. I told them to prepare water. I'll bless it. They will use it to wash their feet. Now I prophesy. Every demonic chain that I've been holding you spiritually. The enemy have been using to pull you back. The Bible said anointing breaks the yoke. That yoke is broken. It's 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 broken. They were questioning me, why am I washing your feet? At any time I wash your feet, they cannot track you in the spirit. They cannot track your step. They cannot locate you. And I prophesy again. They will never locate you again. They will look for you. But they will not see you. Poverty will not see you again. Pain will not see you again. Shame will not see you again. Disappointment will not see you again. In the name of Jesus. I said they will not see you again. I said they will not see you again. We not see you again. Delay, we not see you again. Barrenness, we not see you again. You have crossed the Red Sea. Say, I enter my Kena. Say, I enter my Kena. I enter my prosperity. I enter my fruitfulness. I enter my favor. I enter my miracles. I cross every family limit. Every family status quo. I cross it to higher level. You have crossed. In Deuteronomy 33 verse 24. He said, And of Asher, he shall be blessed among his brethren. And he shall dip his feet in oil. Are there oil on your feet? 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 Are you sure? Are you sure? That represents prosperity. I've told you there are some feet that carry rejection. And when you come around people, they reject you. Have your seat for a minute. This service started. It started with feet washing alone. Were mighty. 
testimonies. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Even if we share the grace and close now, your life has changed. Hata tukisema neema tukafunga ibada sasa hivi maisha yako yamebadilika. Yes. Ndio. I say your life has changed. Nasema maisha yako yamebadilika. I once shared with you in those days. Kuna kipindi niliwasimulia kipindi kile. If you go to face me I face you where people are living many in a compound. Ukienda ile sehemu ambazo watu wanaishi wengi kwenye eneo moja. Especially when there are too many children. Ukiona watoto wengi sana. And they don't have a special place where they go to help themselves. Na wana sehemu maalum ya kujisaidia. So children will be difficulting anyhow. Kwa watoto wanakuwa wanajisaidia tu popote pale. And the children will say mom I'm the owner of this one I'm the owner of this one. Kwa watoto watasema mama hii ni ya kwangu hii ni ya kwangu. Here this I'm taking you so. Yeah, hii kuna sehemu nakupeleka. So Kwa hiyo sometimes the child will defecate upon him or herself. Mtoto anakuwa amejinyea. Then it will be coming in with a lot of flies. Atakuwa anakuja ndani na manzi wengi. If there are dogs. Kama kuna mbwa. <laughs> dog will be following the child. Mbwa atakuwa anamfuata yule mtoto. With a lot of flies. Akiwa na nzi wengi. Now immediately you notice the child. Sasa so, ukigundua tu kama yule mtoto. As a mother or father. Kama mama au baba. You before the child is about to step into so, so, the room. Ka, anakaribia tu kuingia chumbani. You shout oh oh oh. Nasema subiri 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 hapo hapo usiingie usiingie. Why? Kwa nini? The child is coming with a smell. Mtoto anakuja na harufu of defecation. Ya kinyesi. So you don't want to welcome the child like that. Kwa sababu kumkaribisha mtoto akiwa hivyo. So the next thing you would do as a mother is to take her. Kama mama utakachofanya utamchukua. Or a father to take her. Au baba outside. Tampeleka nje. Washa. Tamosha. Before you now wake up my son. Hapo jamkaribisha ndani. Do you get the picture of what I'm trying to paint? Unapata picha hichi ninachojaribu kusema. There are so many of you in the spirit you Kuna are carrying wengueno. defecation like that. Kwenye ulimwengu wa roho mmebeba vinyesi namna hiyo. For example if you go for interview. Kwa mfano ukienda kwenye usaili. Even if you are the one that's called the highest mark that was still when you faulu zaidi they will still keep your file at the back and pick somebody who is number 5 bado ataleka file lako nyuma amchamchukua mtu ambaye alikuwa alishika namba 5 because there is a, a spiritual defecation sababu kuna kinyesi cha kiroho that you are carrying about ambacho umebeba unazunguka nacho you are smart unaone ni wewe una akili unaonekana vizuri umeelimika una akili darasani una miunganiko unaongea vizuri but when it come to favor lakini kija kwenye kibali you don't get favor upati kibali because there is a spiritual defecation sababu kuna kinyesi cha kiroho umebeba are you hearing me unanisikia now when you are fit i'm teaching you mystery na fundisha mafumbo what god did in my life kila mtu mungu alifanya maishani mwangu that is why ndo maana God have taught me through school of God's process. Mungu amenifundisha kupitia shule ya mchakato wa Mungu. Because earlier in my ministry there were things I wanted to happen quick quick quick. God would tell me calm down if you want to work with me. Kwa sababu wakati huduma ndio inaanza naanza huduma kuna vitu nitaka vitokee kwa haraka lakini Mungu akaniambia tulia kama unataka kwenda na mimi kuna mchakato. Thank God you were watching uh, the documentary of the foundation, right? Mko mnaangalia makala yule msingi si ndio? Before the foundation there was a, a, a ground clearing. Kabla ile msingi kwa kuna usafisha ardhi. For example, if that place was a forest. Kwa mfano kama ile sehemu ilikuwa ni msitu. First of all cut the trees. Kwanza kabisa unakata miti. And uproot the root. Unangoa ile mizizi. Before you now began to set the foundation. Kabla ujaanza kuweka msingi. In life. Kwenye maisha. There is a clearing process. Kuna huo mchakato wa kusafisha. In ministry. Kwenye huduma. There is a clearing process. Kuna mchakato wa kusafisha. It took me more than 2 years to clear the land. Ilichukua zaidi ya ilinichukua zaidi ya miaka miwili kusafisha ardhi. Before the ministry could start in the spirit kabla huduma kuanza kwenye ulimwengu wa roho what i'm telling you is not by the school sio shule ya biblia i'm teaching you school of god's process na kufundisha shule ya mchakato wa mungu and if you are not patient na kama sio mvumilivu you can't work with god uweze kufanya kazi na mungu so what do i mean kuna maanisha nini when your feet are washed miguu yako inaposhwa a lot of spiritual 
dirtiness and filthiness are washed away. Uchafu mwingi wa kiroho unaoshelewa mbali. That are causing you limitation. Unakusababishia dhikomo. Because of time. Kwa sababu ya muda. I've done this before. Nilifanya hili jambo kabla. But for the sake of those who may be joining us for the first time. Lakini kwa ajili ya wale ambao inaweza kuwa wameungana nasi kwa mara ya kwanza. Media can see those who are on the Zoom or except there is no Zoom. Kida habari sioni wale ambao wako kwenye Zoom laba kama hakuna watu. Stand up, stand up. Simama. Stand up. Simama. Simama wewe. Where is one of the rapper you are using to tie yourself? Kikwapi vitambaa ambavyo unatumia kuwafunga watu. Where is the where is the rapper? Kikwapi. Come, come, come. Njo, njo. Help me tie his leg. Saidia kufunga miguu yake. Help me tie his leg. Saidia kufunga miguu yake. Fast, fast, fast. Haraka, haraka. I need my time frame to explain this is within 10 minutes. Muda wangu wa kuelezea hii ni ndani ya dakika 10. Tie him fast. Funge haraka. Tie him well. Funge vizuri. Watch him. Mwangalieni. Is there any apple here? Kuna maipo hapa. Come and give me one. Choni pe moja. Want to do demonstration. Taka nionyeshe mfano. Now Imagine he spring for this apple. Safikiria anaombea kupata ile apple. He can see it from there, right? Analiona akiwa pale sasa. He can see it. Analiona. He can dream it. Anaweza kuota juu yake. He can see the vision of where he's going. Anaweza kuona maono ya kule anakoenda. The apple is here. Apple liko hapa. Or is in my hand. Au liko mkononi mwangu. Come and take it. Anjo chukue. Come fast, come fast. Jo haraka, jo haraka. He cannot come. Hawezi kuja. That one is struggling. That is how many of you have dreamed. Ivo ndivyo ambavyo wengi wenu umeota. You were receiving a lot of money. Napokea pesa nyingi. In the dream. Totoni. People make a promise to you physically. Watu wanakuahidi kimwili. You see it that things are there. Unaona kabisa kwamba mambo yanakaribia kutendeka. But to receive it. Lakini kupokea. Take sir. Take. Chukua baba. You see the way he's struggling. Unaona namna anavangaika. That is how so many of you are struggling in the spirit. Hivyo ndivyo wengi wenu mnavangaika kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. Are you with me? Uko na mimi. You get a good destiny here. Napata msaidizi wa hatima mzuri. At the verge of breakthrough. Kwa nakaribia kupata ule mpenyo. Something will happen. Kitu kinatokea. Or you have a bad the person will have a bad dream where you 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 that he want to help is chasing him with a with a knife. Au yule mtu atauta ndoto mbaya kwamba wewe anataka kusaidia unamkimbiza na kisu. The, the demon that is holding you that have tied you pepo ambalo limekushikilia ambalo limekufunga war your face litavaa sura yako and carry cutlass linabeba panga in the dream dotoni naanza kumkimbiza the because they say that next day you will help you will be helped kwa sababu wanajua kabisa siku inayofuatia utasaidiwa if it is you will you help the person kama ni wewe utamsaidia wewe mtu say the truth sema ukweli <laughs> Are you with me? Uko na mimi. But any time your feet are washed. Lakini miguu yako inapooshwa. Come and lose him. Njoo mfungue. As I was washing your feet. Nipokuwa naosha miguu yenu. See what he is doing. Ona anachofanya. He's untying him. Anamfungua. That was what I was doing. Hicho ndicho ambacho nilikuwa nafanya. That is the way you were untied. Ndivyo ulivyokuwa unafunguliwa. That is the way you were untied. Ndivyo ndivyo ulivyokuwa unafunguliwa. That is the way you are untied. Ndivyo ndivyo ulivyofunguliwa. Oh yeah, come and receive the help. Receive your blessing. Pokea baraka zako. Receive your answer. Pokea majibu yako. Receive your answer. Pokea majibu yako. Receive your answer. Pokea majibu yako. Stand up and say I am free. Simama na useme niko huru. Rona randa say I am free. Nibia kimbia sema niko huru. I enter my marriage. Naingia kwenye ndoa yangu. I enter my success. Naingia kwenye ustawi wangu. I enter my breakthrough. Naingia kwenye mpenyo wangu. I am delivered. Nina ile fungulia. Christ Mandate TV Transforming Lives Nations and the World